Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, A Candle in the Dark, from 2002. It's the first film in the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares collection, is directed by Richard Poche, and stars Kristen McLaughlin and Cliff Poche. First off, I should warn you that all 50 films in the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares collection are severely amateur productions. I've only seen two films from the collection, including this and a random one called The Crave That Comes Later, but I feel it's enough to safely say these films are going to look and sound like shit. However, out of 50, maybe there's one out there that might look and sound like shit, but maybe it's actually written well. I guess you'll find out when and if I do. However, rest assured that A Candle in the Dark is not the diamond in the rough I'm searching for. In fact, A Candle in the Dark is nothing but rough. With poor acting that comes off almost as though they're reading the lines for the first time off of cue cards out of frame, dialogue that feels unnatural and forced, and music that sometimes can't even keep its own rhythm consistent. But the worst crime is definitely the camera work. Whoever white balanced those exterior shots should go back to school and either the director wanted nearly every shot to be a Dutch angle or, more believably, the cameraman just couldn't hold the camera level. A lot of the shots were lit terribly as well. However, I will say it got one thing right. It was mercifully short at around 40 minutes. And for that, I am thankful. This movie is about a super Christian new girl on campus who is rooming with a girl who is basically her opposite, and there are several murders occurring on campus. From there, stuff happens. I don't know, this wasn't Citizen Kane, but I knew that going in. However, even though my bar was exceptionally lowered before pressing play, this movie still happened to not clear it. Like I said in the intro to this video series, these 50 packs are going to be difficult to get through, but 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares probably more so, because it's all recent, extremely low budget, very amateur titles, which is why I said I'd only do one every 10th episode. They are not easy to get through in the slightest. A Candle in the Dark gets an F because I can't find anything good to say about it other than that it was short. Join me next episode when we close out the Six Films to Keep You Awake series with To Let. See y'all then.